In this video, we're going to show you how the twisties are implemented. Actually, I have a topic here with a dynamic HTML dropdown. If I preview that topic, you can see there's the dropdown text, and there's the hidden text when I click. But there's no twisty. To implement those, what you have to do is to edit your style sheet. Depending on your project manager view, I'm looking at classic view here, as indicated by the little glasses on the folder. That means my style sheets are separated and appear in their own little folder. So if I double click my default CSS, it should open the styles editor. What you click is a hyperlink. So if I expand the hyperlink section, you can see we've got drop down hotspot and expanding hotspot. I'm going to click drop down hotspot. And on the right, you've got a lot of options to configure things. There's a button called set twisties. When I click that, I get a dialog that says, all right, choose the image. So I'm going to click the little file browsing icon here. I'm going to open the gallery tab. I'm just going to leave it set to arrows. And perhaps I'll do the baby right GIF image. Click OK. And the open image, I'm going to click the file browser again. Again, click the gallery. Leave it at arrows. I think I chose baby right GIF last time. I'm going to choose baby down GIF this time. So I'll click OK. And OK to dismiss the twisties dialog. And OK to dismiss the styles dialog. You don't see anything in the editor, but when we preview the topic now, we should see the twisties. And as you can see, Focus was still on my CSS. I'm going to close that, click to place focus over where we edit the topic, and now the preview should show the twisty for us. And as you can see, it rotates as we want. Hopefully that helps you out. Thank you for watching.